Right, okay, so it's the first day of my trip to Costa del Sol. We're staying at the uh, Sol Marbella Estepona Italia Park. There you go, I had to have a quick look back to read that one. I'm here with uh, Matt Fryer and Peter Finch. Some interesting uh, course videos and course vlogs are uh, going to come from this trip. It's a bit dull at the moment, but it's early. Let's hope it brightens up. Maybe a guided tour around the whole trip that uh, I make in each golf course that we play. It's all in conjunction with uh, Glencore Golf and uh, Costa del Sol Tourist Board, so uh, grateful for uh, both of them for having the average golfer here. And we'll see what content we can create over the next few days. Right, just arrived at uh, the first stop off, which is La Quinta Golf Club, just outside of Marbella. And I've uh, got to say, on first impressions, this place looks, uh, well, certainly all the setup is really impressive. I haven't seen any of the course yet. Let's have a little bit of a walk over here and see what's over there, what lies over the wall. Well, it's just the practice facilities, I'm afraid. That wasn't too exciting. Right, so we're on the second tee at La Quinta, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is uh, well, Matt Fryer and uh, also Peter Finch uh, on the channel today. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to film a few shots in and around the place. I've just played the first hole, a disastrous start, uh, double bogey seven for me. Uh, Matt starts off with a uh, eagle, and I think Pete was a... Hey! Pete was a... <laughs> you didn't mention disaster, did you there? Uh, but yeah... I'm even going to ask someone to hold the camera while I hit another three iron off the tee. Wow, okay, Go double it. A Camering ball move. Up. A little down the left. Right, down the left. Those trees, it's like there's a bank there, yeah. so it'll be fine. Come back down. Nice strike, just up the right, can't see down. It's a Solid ball. Right, made it to the seventh hole. Um, on and off with the rain. Bit of sunshine as well. It's uh, it's a decent track to be fair. Agree, Matt? Beautiful. It is a decent to be fair. There's played, uh, what was it ten years ago? Yeah. I think I played the other because there's A, B, and C here. There's twenty-seven right. holes, and I think I played B and C. But this so is nice, uh, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Each up to be fair, every tee box we've got to, it's uh, it's a it's a decent hole in front of you. And uh, Matt birdied the last one there. Just coming back to form, really. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have hard birdied the one before. You Maybe did, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, three loops of nine here at the Quinta, and we've played A, and I think this is C. Uh, interesting par four to start, which is the 10th or our 10th hole, anyway. And uh, what a par three this is. How far is that, man? 198. 198. On the dot. And a uh, fair bit of water between T and green. Nice golf hole. What a par three that was. It didn't do it justice from the tee, to be quite honest with you. I've got to make sure I don't slip down this bridge. But when you uh, when you take that little drive forward, you realise how good of a par three it is. It helps the fact that I absolutely put them all onto the green as well, so that makes it a nicer par three. But look at that. There's the little tee boxes all the way down the side of that wall on the right there. And yeah, it's uh, it's water then green, and that's where we are, sitting with a bit of a downhill putt. camera kept on there for um, I took hybrid seeing that Matt and Pete's drives are uh, decent players these two lads and unfortunately that happened perhaps a little bit nervous on uh, on the first six holes hopefully loosen up a bit they've been uh, they've been good company and uh, made me feel more than uh, welcome enough but yeah just been a little bit 
a little bit nervous I think uh, but hopefully like I said start to relax a bit and uh, hit the odd one or two good golf shots you never know It's a majestic oh, form. Nice. That was a good strike again. You go. Just about got there, didn't it? Hanging on there. So, uh, there was yeah. a worrying moment there for a while. It was uh, got it a little bit far. But... Oh, Great little par three that was, and uh, just a quick note on the greens, they've been spot on, really good roll on all of them, but every, eight holes in now, and uh, pretty much every one of them has been a uh, decent golf hole to be fair. Just um, thoughts on it so far, Pete? Excellent. It's good, I, isn't it? I would give it eight and a quarter out of ten. Quarter. The only thing that was missing a little bit was just permanent sunshine. But you know, that's not in anyone's control. Greenkeepers can't do that. No, no, no. But no, it's been good, hasn't it? Very good. Matt, I'm on a sandwich. Time for a break. Mm. <laughs> Great words there from Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Fant no, I'm not strong, got a mouthful. Strong, strong words. Really, there really from enjoyable Matt. golf course. Yeah. Really yeah. enjoyable Finger. life. Right, so my visit to La Quinta ends here, um, showing you a little bit uh, about what to expect on arrival, uh, in and around the bar, spa facilities, bedrooms, I think you've seen it all really, it's pretty decent isn't it to be fair, it's a five star resort and it is pretty much five star all the way and a golf course matches as well, the only thing we didn't get this morning was the weather and now the sun's shining so quick shower and change, didn't film inside the uh, shower rooms but again, they're of similar sort of quality, it's all top notch from the minute you enter through the gates looked after all the way, really nice facilities, staff, everything's top drawer. Yeah, right, so short trip, uh, about an hour's journey outside of where we've just come from, La Quinta, uh, just outside of Marbella, and you arrive in a place called Wanda, and the first thing behind me, this monument, is a bull ring behind us. Um, now Rhonda, I'm told, and we're going to find out very shortly, is a um, fairly small town just outside of Marbella, but it looks extremely pretty from what I've seen so far. Great architecture, and if you walk another hundred yards on there, but I've seen some good views as well, so I will give you a guided tour. Um, view, I think, is about to appear. Mr. Finch there, getting a bit of B-roll. Matt Fryer, and that's our guided tour from uh, Costa del Salt Tourism. Wow, and that is a view. It was worth hanging on. Right, it's so over there is where I just uh, was stood and uh, took a bit of that video footage. Uh, yeah, pretty much out on a ledge. Just put something up on uh, onto Twitter there, quick image, and uh, mentioned just the views here are pretty spectacular. Agreed. I reckon so.
Right, so last bit of footage from Ronda, we're about to get a coach out of here. I wish we could stay a bit longer, to be honest with you. Probably got the, uh, hopefully give you a good idea just how pretty this place is. Cobbled streets, lots of Spanish architecture, plenty of Spanish culture. I believe some fantastic restaurants here as well, and uh, it is a really, and spectacular views as well, which you've seen some of them. Really, really impressed with Ronda, and uh, I would personally love to come back. So for something different on a Costa del Sol, a bit more of a cultural experience, then uh, I can definitely recommend the trip to Ronda. Right, final part of the day is at uh, Bena Havis, and uh, we're going to a nice restaurant and have some sweet with the mayor, would you believe? The mayor of Bena Havis, I assume. Where are we going? That place there. So hopefully, the best meal from the sweet. That's a nice restaurant. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? What's he singing? Where is the murder? Set this fellow instead. Where is the murder? <laughs> so, you know, I told you we were meeting the mayor for something to eat this evening. Things, this is not what I expected the mayor to look like. The mayor failed to show, so, uh, not to worry. We had a lovely meal. Now get the serenade.